me, it's Walker at Full Spectrum Laser, and today I'm going to show all you first timers how to use your software on your Muse or Pro Series Laser by Full Spectrum. Now, if you do not know how to get to your software, I'm going to show you real quickly how to do so. Your laser has a touch screen, and on that touch touch screen, uh, upon boot up, you're going to see an IP address in there. It's typically three numbers. Uh, a dot, three numbers, a dot, sometimes one number, dot, another number. So, in our situation, it was the, the IP address shown here. I'm going to just re-enter that IP address so you know what it looks like upon boot up. So, the software boots up. And you are connected to the software. It doesn't matter what browser you use. And remember that it's not uh, a internet-based software. It is locally hosted on your machine. So the software lives on your machine. It throws this IP address. You put the IP address in your browser. It doesn't matter if you have internet or not. As long as you're connected to the same network or directly connected, it will connect. Also, you can do your own hotspot from the full spectrum lasers. So, first project, very simple. I suggest everybody start with not only looking at laser 101 to learn how to use the machine, but I think engravings are a nice, fast way to get familiar with your machine. Now, when it comes to engravings uh, or rasters, you want to find a nice black image, especially with simple ones. So we'll go to Google. What I like to do is kind of search whatever you're into, maybe dog silhouette, and then I go to tools, color, black and white. That pops up very easy images. If you don't know how to design like your uh, have a graphic design background. If you lack that, this is a very easy way to get started. Um, let's say that, oh, that's an Akita or Shiba Inu. Same thing, really. Uh, let's go ahead and save this. And let's just call it she, Shiba for my wallet. I want to engrave my wallet, throw my favorite dog on there. Whatever the situation may be, I'm just going to save it. Let me just make sure I'm on my desktop. And it will be right over here. I like to show it in the folder. Go back to my software. And uh, we'll just minimize this. Actually, yeah. And we can just drag and drop our Shiba Inu into the software. Let's zoom into this guy with our zoom in tool. As long as it's selected and you hit zoom, it will automatically uh, start zooming into that project. So you'll notice that it has a handful of dots and stuff as well. That's because the software defaults to half tone dither. Now, halftone dither specifically is for, let's say, photos, um, images that have grayscale depth. So we don't need that in this situation. We just want a simple black image engraved onto whatever it may be, and that you just click over the threshold. This is perfect for anything like a logo, fonts, obviously, uh, and so on. <clears throat> And in this, you'll notice that it has just this layer on this side, and that is going to be your bitmap. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, now, with an engraving, you have your power settings, power, speed, and threshold. Threshold, you'll notice that it picks up a little more. Let's zoom in just a bit more. It will pick up more and less of your image. So you can kind of dial in 
uh, dial in the amount of black and white you want to pick up. You can see somebody added a gradient at some point, so that's not a full black image. Um, but we just want to engrave it like this. <clears throat> and for teaching purposes, let's say um, <clears throat> I want to engrave this on my Muse with a power of 100 and a speed of 60. We can type that in as well. Oh, of course. Now, oh my goodness. I need to stop clicking it afterwards. So we're at 60. Um, <clears throat> let's just say that is the power settings for doing leather. Now, when it comes to power settings, you are new to power settings. This is something that you are going to have to learn. It's a lot of the times I run it at 100 and 100 and adjust from there. It's very easily, let's say you are doing your wallet and you do not want to ruin your wallet by going too much power. I like to run the job at a low power, see if it marked. If it didn't, stop the job, adjust the power from there. And as long as it, <clears throat> you're stopping the job properly, it's going to go the same spot no matter what. So you can run over that same area over and over and over. If it continues to not mark, just bump up the power. And again, power and speed are correlated. If you are at 100 power and it's not getting as deep as you want or as dark on the engraving, then you will lower your speed, giving it more time to engrave that area. <clears throat> DPI is your resolution dots per inch. You can go up to 250, 500, and 1,000. Um, this is going to make an image darker, higher resolution, and deeper. So keep that in mind when you're doing your new project as a first timer, of course. Now we have our power at 100. For this example, we'll bring it up to 100. We are going to estimate this time. This time estimate is 7 minutes and 17 seconds. Now why is that? That's because we are at four inches and uh, roughly four by four inches. If we wanted to, we can uh, scale this down. Realistically, you're not going to do four inches on a wallet, probably one inch at the max. Zoom in on that. And now our new estimate is less than a minute. So less than a minute to get your favorite dog on your wallet. And you'll see if I lower the speed, the speed to 50%, um, it went faster. <laughs> Let's do uh, 100 speed, 500 DPI, and do the estimate. All right, so we've got one minute and 51 seconds which makes sense because it's going to double your speed because it's double the dots per inch um thousand dpi let's do our estimate three minutes and 38 seconds so you can see that correlation when it comes to resolution and speed um <clears throat> if you do have a camera on your system you could take the camera and uh, the, the, in this situation, our pros don't have any cameras, but you can take your camera at this point after you put the wallet and line it up that way. Um, <clears throat> it's very straightforward. If you want to take a look at our next video, it will be covering the whole user interface. So until next time, keep making.